Hello friends and welcome back to another Pokemon how-to guide here on the channel. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and in today's guide we're going to be looking at how to catch Calyrex in Pokemon Sword and Shield Crown Tundra DLC. So shortly after arriving in the Crown Tundra, you'll experience the Dynamax adventures with Peony and shortly after this, you will arrive in the main town of the Crown Tundra, which is Freezington. After arriving here, the town mayor will approach you, will introduce himself and talk to you about the King of the Bountiful Harvest, which is referring to Calyrex, and just give you a little bit of information about that. Shortly after this, Peony will appear and ask you to join him in his hut, and this is where you'll find out about the legendary quests, where he gives you a bunch of legendary clues, giving you information and hints on how to capture these legendaries that are roaming the Crown Tundra area. He will also give you a Master Ball, as well as the Crown Tundra Snowsuit, which are really nice items to get this early on in the game, especially that Master Ball. Now the first quest starts with the Legendary Journey 1, which is all about Calyrex. He'll talk a little bit about this and then end the conversation saying that you're going to go on your Legendary quest and it's time to start hunting. So the first thing to do when you're in Peony's hut is to go and grab the stone crown that is on the table. Now Peony will argue with you saying that it's his pillow but he will eventually give in to you and let you take Take this crown away. The first thing to do from here is to go out to the statue in the Freezington village and place the crown on top of the Calyrex statue. This will then trigger Calyrex to actually appear in the village and then from there you go on to battle it. So once you defeat Calyrex it will then start a conversation with you. It will take over Peony's body in a, in a very funny sequence that continues through this saga and then tell you about how it's disappointed because the people in the village somehow don't remember it and somehow think it's a, a fairy tale. So from there you go and speak to the villagers in the village. Uh, the NPC characters are the ones outside that you need to speak to once you've spoken to three or four of those it will give you the message saying that you have spoken to the villagers about Calyrex and that you can go and inform Calyrex of their opinions. So you go back to Calyrex at this point and inform them about what the villagers have said, where Calyrex will then lead on to a conversation about its steed and needing it back to gain its full power. So from here you need to find out a little bit more information about the steed and this legendary horse and the one person that you need to speak to at this point is the mayor of the the town the village again so you go to his house he isn't there you will need to exit freezington on the south side and make your way onto frost point field and head towards the giant's bed now if you follow my directions here you will eventually reach the mayor who will then tell you that obviously i do know about the steed but let's go back to my house and we'll talk about it there so once back at the mayor's house he'll inform you a little bit about the steed and then point you in the direction of a lot of books so these books are important they have a lot of information about calyrex and how to obtain the things that you need to complete this adventure the one thing that you will need to look at is the hardy crops of the tundra now in this book you'll find out about two variants of carrot the ice root carrot and the shadow root carrot that grow in the crown tundra now the ice root carrot will be the carrot that you would choose uh, to grow if you want Glastria and the Shadow Root will be the one if you want Spectria. But we'll get to this a little bit later on in the guide. So now you've got the information about the carrots, you need to go back and inform Calyrex about this. So once you've told Calyrex about this, it will say if you can find a seed, then it will be able to grow one in the Crown Tundra using its power. So the first thing to do is head over to this NPC character here in Freezington Village. He will offer you a carrot seed for eight Dynite Ore. Now, if you've done the Dynamax adventures already, you should have a bunch of Dynite Ore, which is a new ore introduced in the Crown Tundra from that little introduction and those battles there. Now, if you haven't got any Dynite Ore at this point, what 
you can do is go and do Dynamax battles and do raid dens and you will be able to collect those items that way. Now once you've got the seed you need to go back to Calyrex who will then inform you of two areas in the Crown Tundra that you'll be able to visit and plant these carrots. So if you want the ice type Glastria steed to fuse with Calyrex. Now you've got to remember that these Pokemon fuse with Calyrex so once you've chosen them this is a bit like Urshifu in the Isle of Armor. You're going to get to choose one or the other right now. So it depends on which bed which carrot you grow will be depending on which steed you will get. Now if you want the ghost type steed you will make your way to the giant's bed and uh, if you follow my directions here that we're going in game you'll be able to find this bed and once you're here you can choose to plant your carrot seed here which will then allow you to get spectier later in the game. If you want the ice type steed you will need to make your way to snow slide slope and then you will be able to find this bed where you can plant the carrot seed here. Now within this guide I am going to choose the ice type so we are at snow slide slope and we will plant the carrot. Once you do this Calyrex will appear and you will use these powers to grow the ice root carrot. Now once you have taken it out of the ground you will then see your steed appear. So in this case it will be Glastria and um, if you did the shadow root carrot then it would be spectria that would appear so you've got your steed it has appeared but then it makes its way back to freezington so this is where you need to go and you will have to battle your chosen steed and save the village so once you do this the calyrex then explains that obviously he doesn't have enough power to actually take Back the steed the next thing he needs is going to be the reins of unity so this is the next thing in the calyrex adventure so to get the reins of unity you're going to need two items you're going to need the hair from the steed which you actually will pick up once you've defeated it in battle and you will need flower the radiant petal now calyrex is very weak so it can't produce the entire flower for you but it will give you a petal from this radiant flower now you need to find someone that's able to make these reins of unity now now go back to the mayor at this point he will say that his family law and pass down the method to make the reins of unity and he actually has a go you give him the two items but he is unable to make this then peony turns up and is able to put the reins of unity together with the two items the horsehair and the petal from the radiant flower so once you've done this the next step is calyrex explains to you that you've got the reins of unity you will need to make your way to the Crown Shrine. Now the Crown Shrine is located in the northern section of the Crown Tundra. To get there you're going to need to make your way out of Freezington through the Frost Point Field, then make your way through Giant's Bed, go up Snow Point Slope and then into the tunnel on top. Through here you wind a way around the cave system and then come to the path on the peak which will then lead on to the Crown Shrine. Now I've sped up this journey here so you can actually follow along slow this down at points so you can make your way to the crown shrine a lot easier it's not the hardest thing to find but it could be a little bit tricky hopefully this path helps you out in getting there now once you are here you will arrive at the crown shrine calyrex will appear again with peony and you will drop the carrot that you got earlier on into a basket which will then summon either Glastria or Spectia uh, to the, the Crown Shrine. And then this will trigger a series of events where Calyrex is fused with the Steed of Choice. Obviously in our case it is Glastria. It will then approach you and say its whole power has been restored and it would like to thank you by joining you on your adventure, allowing you the opportunity to challenge it to a battle and capture it. Now you can go ahead and don't worry if you defeat Calyrex here, you will it will not disappear just sit there and you'll be able to battle it again and again and again until you capture it now in this guide we are using our master ball thankfully just given to us recently by peony to capture it and make sure that we are able to get it and, and that rounds up the first legendary adventure in the crown tundra allowing you to get calyrex after this you'll head back to peony's hut you will inform them about capturing Calyrex and it will tick off your legendary clue number one the king of the bountiful harvest and that will be the Calyrex mission complete so I hope this step-by-step -step guide helps you out and shows you exactly where you need to go and speeds it up for yourselves in getting Calyrex 
in the crown tundra we'll wrap it up there my friends if you've enjoyed this video as always please remember to drop a like do subscribe to the channel if you are new for more guides like this and all sorts of other pokemon content that we cover on the channel and i will catch you all for another episode very soon so until then friends take care of yourselves and bye bye